Good Wednesday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on weather-wise around the area this morning. Not all the temperatures are loading this morning, but that's okay. We're going to get you through it. It's 61 degrees uh, out at Boone is one of the cool spots on the map this morning. Temperatures anywhere between the low 60s to low 70s, depending on your location. A few areas coming in at 73 degrees this morning, such as Pinehurst and Dunn coming into some of the warm spots on the map. It is 68 degrees here at the Weather Center in Atwood. Well, as we take a look at the Mid-Atlantic area overall, we've got this cold front, well not cold front, but this front that's essentially bringing showers and thunderstorms to the area. Uh, it was down to our south and southeast yesterday. It's meandered back up here over the county and it will give us chances for rain throughout the day uh, as isolated showers and thunderstorms will kind of take place on each, each side of this front and uh, increase our chances for rain. Still gonna be isolated and you've got a better chance of staying dry as you do getting some rain, but the opportunities are at least improving for us as we go through the day today and over the next couple of days, you've got actually isolated rain chances every single day of the forecast period. So let's certainly take advantage of that. Taking a look out at the tropics, there are several areas of interest that the National Hurricane Center is keeping an eye on. Starting out here over the Atlantic, you can see we've got these two areas right here. This is still subtropical cyclone number two. Can, can, or potential tropical cyclone number two, excuse me, continue to keep an eye on that one. It will continue to track uh, just north of the South American continent and, and then uh, into the uh, Central America as we go through the next couple of days uh, and into next week. So not a threat to the U.S. And then this other system just to the north, northeast of it that likely will fall apart. It's not really showing any opportunities for strengthening. I think because the potential tropical cyclone number two is essentially sucking up all the energy. And then of course in the Gulf, we've got this system that is continuing to uh, strengthen and get more organized that could very well become a named system in the Gulf. Uh, we've got waters in the Gulf Coast that are six degrees warmer than normal right now that's continuing to fuel this thing and give it plenty of opportunities to get going. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that. Hopefully this could become a rainmaker for us over the next uh, week or so to re really give us an opportunity to start to climb back out of the drought. For the weather headlines today, we'll see partly sunny skies with highs in the low 80s. We'll see winds out of the south, southeast at around five miles an hour. Isolated shower and thunderstorm chances are possible today with lows in the upper 60s. Today's stats are sponsored by Good Nights Lawn Care. We'll have more on them in just a moment. But for pollen levels today, they'll be low. The main pollen driver continues to be grasses, but as dry as we've been, Grasses really aren't doing much of anything. They're not really growing or anything like that. So uh, certainly keeping those pollen levels down. The UV index is going to be high today. So if you're uh, someone who burns easily, uh, make sure that you uh, apply some sunscreen today as you'll certainly need it, especially during the daytime hours. And the air quality is going to be moderate today. So if you're part of those sensitive groups that tend to have issues breathing, uh, today will be a day you'll want to uh, use caution as well, so just keep that in mind. The stats are brought to you by Good Nights Lawn Care. These guys take care of my lawn, and I love it. They offer services like mowing, trimming, seeding, mulch, pine straw, and more. For more information on services provided, give them a call, 980-521-1937. The coffee cast for today, at 7 a.m., we had overcast skies, 66 degrees. By 4 p.m. this afternoon, we'll see temperatures around 83 degrees with mostly sunny skies. And again, you can't rule out the chance for an isolated shower or thunderstorm as well, but you might want to consider an iced coffee this afternoon if you're looking to get some coffee on your on your way home or, or just taking an afternoon coffee break or something like that with temperatures in the low to mid 80s. The mowing forecast got yellow lights out there, mainly because of the isolated rain chances over the next couple of days. I don't think you're going to have too much trouble getting in if you actually have any grass to mow, but certainly keep in mind that a pop-up shower or thunderstorm could interfere with uh, getting it done for a brief period of time. The mosquito forecast has high levels of activity over the next few days, and the forecast uh, really has rain chances every single day. Uh, as we get to Sunday and Monday, those are our best chances for rain each day. Highs are going to be in the 80s, the lows in the 60s and 70s. Our warmest day coming up is going to be Sunday with 89 degrees, but certainly on each end of that uh, 
really from Thursday on, uh, we could certainly be right around that 90 degree mark with today being our coolest day of the week. So keep that in mind. The forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling, built on integrity. Give them a call, 704-857-5684. Visit them on, on their website, www.sasloop.com. Mention you notice they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first time service call. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather at any time, you can visit us on our website, www.rowancountyweather.com. You can follow and like us on our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can check us out on cable television, WSRG TV in Salisbury. It's available on Hotwire Channel 394, Spectrum Channel 16. We'll keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Wednesday. And as always, thank you for following Rowan County weather.